this message is for Aron, Are, Ra, the god of Ra, Ra, the god of La, of Rana. So it's, isn't it a miracle when I say fucking this and fucking that? And isn't it a miracle when a Christian says a fuck this and a fuck that? It must be a miracle. How dare a Christian say the F word? How dare it say it? Guess what? I'm human, you're human. Aaron, Aaron, R-A. A fucking miracle. What a fucking miracle for me to say the F fucking F word. Right? It's a fucking miracle. Why? Why are there sulfur balls stuck embedded in old water bed streams of river where there used to be a river in the lands of Sodom and Gomorrah in that area um, but there aren't on the ground areas just in the bedrock where, where not the bedrock the lava rock uh, the waterways where there was water at that time why are there sulfur balls still there because when they fell from the earth, from the sky, they are no, there aren't any volcanoes around there that we know of, and even if there were volcanoes, are there such thing as sulfur balls coming from a volcano? No, this you got lava spewing from a volcano, not sulfur balls. Those things are embedded into the river bed, and you can go in there. You can go there yourself. Go there yourself and find them and light them on fire and see how they melt. Noah's Ark is in the Ararat Mountains. Egyptian cubits. The first people that found it said, oh, it's the wrong, it's the wrong measurements. But they did it in the wrong cubits. They were supposed to do it, measure it in Egyptian cubits. What they did, they did it in Hebrew cubits or something. So it is there. It's archaeological proof. It's there. There are other archaeological proofs. I'll have the links in the description box of other videos of these proofs of Sodom and Gomorrah balls and all that. So the big question is, what happens when you die? Regardless of near-death experiences, even though there's a lot of hell testimonies, there's a lot of those from just random YouTubers they are just coming out with this stuff saying, I don't even know if I should talk about this, but they do. Where they died or they had a near-death experience or they just had like a vision or a dream. And they're all saying the same thing. It can't breathe. It smells like the worst shit ever. It's dark, except for maybe some flames here or there. And they're they're surrounded by eight, nine foot tall uh, demon angel, fallen angel, black, whatever creatures. And their bodies are getting ripped apart. And they don't have no rest. And they know that they know exactly why they're there. And they can never leave, even though these people who can leave, they were plucked out by Jesus, not Buddha, not. Uh, any other gods it was Jesus and these people are atheists so they don't believe in God and then they come to so the question is besides that if you're wrong and if hell is a real place then you're gonna find out when you die you don't know what happens when you die oh you got this D this DMT or this chemical in the brain that gives people their near-death experience of this glorious place well what about the people that go to hell when they die and come back Do, what chemical is that why are they having the same experience? And why would they want it? <laughs> okay, I guess that's all I gotta say. F, 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 and fucking F, and fuck you, and all that f fun fucking shit, right? <laughs> that's all your video? You're done? No, I'm still recording. But it, isn't it a miracle that a Christian would say the F word? Why no, are you talking to me for? I thought you were doing your video. Buddy. I am doing the video. So they hear my voice? Yep. So anyways... So isn't it a miracle that I'm saying those, the that F word? Because um, apparently you, it's your language, um, it's it's human language to, to use words. The the F word is just a word. They're letters. There is a word, but the meaning behind it is what makes a word. The the F word in another language could mean beauty, love. Uh, it could mean a flower. The word in our language, well, it's obviously a foul, obnoxious language uh, word. So. And right now, that's the way I'm using it. But isn't it a miracle that I'm using those words? Oh boy. Um, <laughs> sometimes you gotta speak that language just to get to people's attention. So, yeah.
Okay, that's all I gotta say to Aaron R. A. Is um, you're gambling with your life if you don't know if you don't have any clue what happens when you die, and then when you get there, you go, oh fucking shit, what the fuck did I do? Maybe I should have done things different on Earth. Maybe this is a test. I mean, <laughs> is it reincarnation? Is it is it hell after death? Is it you just disappear and nothing happens? Yeah, that's the big question, isn't it? That's what everybody wants to know. And evolution isn't going to tell you. In fact, evolution and the Darwinian stuff, that a lot of that is racist bullshit is what it is. It's racist. And uh, sure, there's a thing as adaptation, but a cow's not going to turn into a chicken. I'm sorry, it just ain't going to happen. And oh, what's his name? Oh, I can't even... Wow. Well, anyways. Okay, that's all I got to say. Much love to you all. Goodbye.